안녕. 안녕. 어서 이제 보이고 한. 와. 오케이 오케이 왜? 진짜 왜? 뭐 <웃음> Sorry, it's not funny. I'm angry right now. 내가 표정 관리 좀 하고. <웃음> 안녕. 어서 야, 이시 보이고 한. 이시 girls rolls a gay, twice a gay, chuck the ring a gay, settle. And welcome back to, to our, our channel. channel. So guys, basically, the doctor said that we can't. F them. <laughs> And yes, today we are going to get straight into the video because as I said before, I'm a little bit heated about the situation. The doctor definitely, in my opinion, overstepped a boundary that should never be overstepped. You know, we've been talking a lot about what's going on with my body. I told y'all like what, a week ago that I had another appointment. I was basically gonna be like a guinea pig for the next couple weeks and whatnot. And a lot of you mentioned that I should take out my birth control because next one does have next one on. Did I say next one on? No, you said right. I did? <laughs> so next one on. Now <laughs> next Planon next plan does have a lot of side effects and one of those side effects was crazy weight gain. After I went through like my first major weight loss like transformation five, six years ago, I had been able to keep the weight off for like the longest time and then all of a sudden I'm like one of the biggest weights that I've ever been in my life. And then all the other things that were going on with my body. You guys said that that might be something that was causing it so I went ahead and made an appointment to get it taken out, right? I called the lady on the phone or whatever little receptionist at the desk, okay? So she answered my phone call. They know me because I've been going there for both my pregnancies, all my OBGYN, so they know me. She was like, oh, hey, girl, whatever. I let her know. I'm like, okay, I'm going to make an appointment to take out my birth control. And she was like, why do you want to take out your birth control? I explained to the lady all the reasons I want to take out my birth control. There's, like, the hormonal factor. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on with me. I don't know what's triggering it. There's weight gain, whatever, yada, yada, yada. So she's like, all right, bet. So we got an appointment this time, whatever. This is the doctor and it's not my normal doctor, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine So I actually ended up going with my mom Gohan ended up staying with the kids because you know like I love him <laughs> My mom, you know, she knows how to handle me I'm like a little best, bit better. I'm not the best moral support <laughs> Yeah, cuz he'd just be like, you know, cuz they had to you know cut me up a little bit He'd just be like, okay, <laughs> dang that looks yeah. like it hurt what can I do for you? Uh, you know, I know you're trying to be helpful and stuff, you know, but just like for me, it's easier to go with women because I feel like they understand the no, thing. I that know, I'm going I completely through. feel like, like I'm stupid. I'm just like, I'm sitting there like, damn. Right. Yo, I, if I was, or like, I you was make me too. more nervous. I took him with me the first time when I went to go get it put in. He's like, damn, that's a big ass needle. And I'm like, you're not making me feel any better. Like, <laughs> I said, sorry, right after. <laughs> Anyways, my mom, she's been through all of it and she's had all different types of birth control so she, you know, they kind of resonate with me on that level. Because like sometimes you want people to, to feel you, you know what I'm saying? You don't want them to just listen to you, you want them to feel you. When I tell you, I went in there and then you know the nurse comes in, takes my weight or whatever and I talk to the nurse lady, I'm explaining to her. She tells the doctor, which is just like right outside, and the doctor comes in. When I tell you, this is the most unprofessional doctor I've met in my entire life. Like literally I was disgusted with my, her behavior and I don't mean to get too ahead of myself because this will come later on in the story But my mama had to put the doctor lady in check. That's how you know. It's a serious situation Yeah, if you're there with somebody your mama your sister whoever and they feel like they need to put the doctor in check Y'all then it's a situation yeah, and her mom is not the type to just go put everybody in check Exactly. Like, my mom is the sweetest lady on she planet chill. earth she, she, she wouldn't have said anything unless she felt like I was being disrespected and I was blatantly being disrespected The doctor lady comes in there first thing she said she doesn't even say hi y'all she doesn't say how you doing? Not a good morning because when I'm telling you this appointment was at our favorite time early as hell o'clock. Walk in there, doesn't even greet me. She says, so if you're gonna take that out then what are you planning on doing for like uh, birth control after? And then I was just kind of like, as of right now, I kind of just want to get rid of the next one, you know what I'm saying, and see if that's what was causing what was going on in my body. So I don't really want to be on birth control or anything like that. I got to give my body some time to like regulate, figure out what's going on with that. Try to figure out what I would go on next, you know what I'm saying? Do more research about what other forms of birth control I could be on. So I was like, I don't really want to be on anything. Like I literally just came here to take it out. Yeah. That's what I came for. Stop asking me all these goddamn questions. <laughs> Just take you, it you, out, you, right? You wish you said that, right? No, I wish I do. When I tell you I was genuinely taken aback, like I had never been spoken to like that in my life. So then she goes, well, you do know if your main concern is weight loss, then if you get pregnant again, you're just going to gain more weight. That's how pregnancy works. You know that. I'm like, oh my God, the f hostility. Who in the hell are you talking to? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I got two kids. You don't need to tell me how pregnancy works. That's so condescending. That's like looking down on you. Yeah, it's like, 
body works. Like, I know how my body works. I was explaining to her I've gained a whole bunch of weight. Like, I still exercise. I've changed, like, my e eating habits. This is just ridiculous. And then I think I went on a live, actually, a couple weeks ago, and I asked y'all if it was the same issue. Retaining weight. Some of y'all were like, yes, girl, I gained, like, 50 pounds. I get 70 pounds, 90 pounds. <laughs> There's so many other bits. I'm just gonna take this out and then see if my body will go back to normal and if this was causing all the irregularities. It was pretty obvious to us because you, I've been next to you the whole time. You've been changing your diet to like protein based, eating minimal amounts, you working out, I was there with you. It is the next plan because that's the only thing that's different than any other time, right? Right. So in our case, you just want the next plan on out. Exactly. I obvious. didn't care for all the extra whatever. While I was explaining to her, she literally was just like sitting there and she was kind of giving me like this condescending aura the whole time she was like mm-hmm yeah yeah and this is what she said that set over everybody over the edge y'all i can't remember word for word after that i literally just saw red this hoe was lucky i had a f mask on or else she would have stopped me like dead ass just staring at her like she was like you know i'm sure that it's all in your head um if that's what you genuinely believe is causing some of the issues then i'm sure that this will take care of it and so my mom heard that she knew homegirl was like yo i want to put her in the face right now like <laughs> What? She knew what it was. So my mom, she pulls down her mask. She looks at the lady. She goes, <laughs> can I tell you something? And she goes on to say how many different types of birth control she was on, blah, 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 blah all the stuff. She's been through it. She's like, <laughs> so she was like, when I was on birth control, this, that, and the third half, don't you dare sit here and try to tell my daughter that it's all in her head. Like, that is so disrespectful. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's, again, it's that issue of constantly not listening to your patients and constantly not listening to the fact that they're telling you. What the hell? Like, looking at people like there's some, like, little kids that don't know any better. Like, right, condescending this like, 100%. Right. Like, oh, I'm sure if that's what you believe, that then that will happen. As if as if it's like a placebo effect, as if it's all in my head and all of a sudden if I take out, you know, the birth control then she was like, no, 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 yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Literally just got it taken out. We left, my mom and I talked about it like all the way home and we were just like super upset because the whole appointment lasted probably like 40 minutes and stuff like that. That's how long the conversation was. I was really trying hard to remain respectful the whole time, but she just kept going on and on. Like she was kind of laughing. I've just kind of been thrown around like the past couple months and while some experiences have been like great, a majority of the experiences have been either disrespectful respectful or they're just not hearing me out or they're not listening to what I'm saying or they're trying to let their own opinions of whatever they think are going on over cloud what I want you know you know yeah but anyways I got this procedure done on Tuesday by the time y'all see this video it'll be Saturday but we're filming on Friday so Tuesday Wednesday it's one day Thursday today Friday it's been three days it's been three days and I've already dropped five pounds if that's not proof enough for the I don't know what he It is proof. <laughs> giving. Oh, it's it, it's it's giving facts. It's giving facts. Yeah. It's giving I was right. Yeah. yeah. You were wrong. It, exactly. <laughs> if you stuck through through the whole video, thank you for listening to my rant. You got patient. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, just long story short, we went ahead and got this whole take it out. So hopefully everything will, with my body will go back to normal. And then if it doesn't, we got to go back in for more set testing. They still won't give me a damn ultrasound. I don't know what it is. Unless you're in a life-threatening situation. Yeah, I don't remember it being that hard in the past. But whatever. Mm. It is what it is. Thanks for tuning in today's video. If you like this video and so want to see more videos, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, tune in next week for more videos. Bye! Bye.